Hello and welcome to a new episode of Aquanauts with me, your host, One Body Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have much problems with cards. With my old friend cards. But we will solve that and hopefully take him back. Alright, Flint. Well, I don't get it. What the hell are Admiral Cox's scouts doing here in front of our station? Those political clowns are up to something, and I hate politics. They're hypocritical, ambitious, and bloodthirsty bunch, which is why I'm glad we have you. I've ordered Piccolini to patrol Deep Draft and report any incidents. He has permission to attack if need be. Attack the marked target now. Intruder microphones are picking something up. They're planning something big. There's a lot more to this. Let's get closer. I think I shut down my engine. But I have no idea how. Lost two, okay. their lines of communication, we'd have a problem. Wow. Hey, boss! Cox's boys are spitting fire here! Drop by and give me a hand with your pepper pot! Damn! That was really close! Bad timing. Uh, we can't... Flint! They detected us! Uh, now we're going to navigation point three. Okay. I'm away. <laughs> I am just running. I have no time to get in so many enemies alone. 
on mail. Oh shit. Now there's a for navigation Okay. Well done. We know Cox's task force has been weakened, but his men have threatened to take hostages at the Parliament. We're expecting an attack there. I know it looks bad, but I'll tell you this. Cox has his reasons. The new line seems like power-craving technocrats to me. The Admiral may be overreacting, but that doesn't mean he's wrong. And remember, Cox is to remain unharmed. The new line are striving for improvement. People are afraid of change. But we should work that out in debate, not a hostage crisis. Hold on. I'm getting word. Cox is on his way to take the parliament, and he's threatening to kill the delegates one at a time. I don't believe a word of that. Get back in the water and fulfill your responsibility, soldier, in the interest of the Federation and your old friend. Your wing, Harper, is waiting for you on your station. Yeah, Monday. Uh... 
Let's go to shop. Get some more tiger shark. Oh, wait, the shark. One? Yes, one. And some more battle maybe. Oops. Okay. Others. I will need a lot of them. Uh, shark. And we will save while we talk more. Um, oh. Wow! You look like your gallbladder's going to explode, folks! Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I can't believe it, but we gotta get out there and kick Cox's butt because he's threatening to kill hostages. Forget about Sue. He's a Dubuana. A monster. Try to get a clear mind. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, you worry about your Dubuana, whatever that is, and I'll worry about cuts. What do you know about my monsters? You arrogant little oodle shark. There were more Dubuanas in my past than ever would fit into the Argentine base. Well, I must get Cox out of there, and I can only do it if I'm on Sewell's side. If I tried on my own, I'd have the whole damn Neopolis army after me. It would be suicide. Then let's do it! Better a terrible end than unending terror! You're a real poet, dopamine <laughs> heart. <laughs> yeah! I drink words and fart rhymes! Woohoo! Nice. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. I will save it again and talk to the What do you want? I'm the good fairy, soldier. If you tell me about Admiral Cox's plans for attacking the Parliament, you get three wishes. Ah, uh, Cox is a pig. Throw me out. Said I was a risk factor. Three wishes. All right, then. This is what they're gonna do. Cox loves the mercenary tactics. So watch out for his fame. Normally he uses scouts for that. They're also going to reprogram the defense weapon. Friendly fire. So the guns will also attack me for the scouts. The man's willing to kill his own people. And those were the days of Fortress Gibraltar. Hakata! Oh, Captain <laughs> Sorrow! He's probably enjoying himself very much in hell. <laughs> How about you? You like it here in Neapolis? Damn! There's nothing here but spoiled nail varnish sniffers. The whole place is artificial. Me? I'm waiting for the Big Bang. When civilization finally starts to devour itself? I'm not a damn poet, friend. All I know is that a war would bring these people back to the element. War oh, shouldn't no. be used to solve the problems of a calcified and oversaturated civilization. Bah! War is like being born again. Interesting. We got played before the mission. Ma, 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 ma. Equip, keep it equip. Let's go and do this. Recommend EMP weapons. Go, go, go. Is it the last episode from Cox? Alright, this is Commodore Sewell. Commander Flint and Captain Yala Rangoon, you are both linked into this little chat. And here are your orders. Rangoon, keep an eye on the administration buildings while Flint protects our holy parliament. I will cover Navy headquarters. Also, you will be pleased to hear that Neapolis is under martial law now, and I am the ranking officer. I promise you, I am going to restore order. Sewell out. Flint, deactivate all turrets around the parliament. We don't want any fatalities among Cox's crew. I don't like how he said that. Attack the marked target now. Okay. Attack the marked target now. Target now. 
cannon are inactive, and the docks cannot be opened. Cox won't be able to get in there in a million years. Although, we must not underestimate his eerie cleverness. There we go. I've detected a transporter moving towards the Parliament. I wonder what it's up to. That transport must not get close to the docks. If it has a blue-green laser, it might try burning through the docks in order to reinforce Cox with more troops. Okay. So, what is my... my... Yeah. We can't do it, Commander! They have insanity! Harper's already foaming at the mouth, but we cannot deactivate the transport! There are too many bombers and frigates!
Holy dead soldier. What? I'm already looking forward to ironing every crease on your damn face. Grow up, Flint. Behind me, there's a whole division of loyal men looking for any reason to take you out, you stupid punk. You killed Cox, which means you've got a big problem. Oh, really? And that problem is what? You? Not even if you get past puberty. I'm gonna be on you like the stench from your foul body, Sewell. I'm gonna find you wherever you are and dance on your grave. Ship against ship with no Neapolis army to cover your butt. You're nothing but a snot-nosed boy scout. Nobody's going to keep me from creating a new and better world, including that old fossil cox. Everything will change now, as mankind takes on the responsibility to evolve into a better race. Wake up, Flint! Those who don't fight with me are going to be struck down by progress. I apologize for interrupting your little lullaby of superhumanity, but I just wanted you to know that I always collect on my debts. You killed my best friend and you did it with my help. You can bet one day I'm gonna kill you, Sue. Now I'm gonna go see a very clever woman sitting in the Neapolis arms who has seen through you from the beginning. Keep your eyes open in the meantime, Sewell. Because we're gonna meet in traitor's hell. Ooh, so much money. But yes. He will die in hell forever. There you are, Simba. Like a big mouth without teeth. Who jumbo, radiant man? All right, rub it in. You were right. You Dugon are so damn clever and wise. Yes, we are. But even a Dugon can come to meet the wrong person. What are you telling me, Shaka? 
I'm listening. I was his slave. Nobody dares to turn down the wishes of a duke of the clans, you mean. I had left my family to become a free prince's warrior. I ended up aboard his ship, the Nudemun, where he kept me as a slave for himself and his drinking powers. I escaped, and now he's after me. We will meet face to face. Nimi Kasarika, I'm furious. And you're going to feed a torpedo tube with your wrath. Nandio. Yes, my wrath fills my lungs, my heart, my brain. You'll get him, warrior princess. And you will have to watch out for Sul. We both have our duties. Two Freak has stolen my freedom, and Sul, your friend, he's dangerous. He will come back to the Tornado Zone. He has no patience. He wants power. He's gonna pull the Kanyezi, that damn brain fire project, through. They want to go to the surface. I was told they were bringing out the buoy. You're gonna stop him. Shaka, I don't just want to stop his project. I want to kill him with my bare hands. I'm a simple man. Yeah, a man is always simple. It's no news to me. He wants to kill or make love, and then afterwards run off as fast as possible. Alarm sick. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, Flint. But your wings would like to know when we're going to move on. We're moving on now to the Tornado Zone. I want Sue. Oh, crap. Private vendettas don't bring in credits, man. We're either mercenaries or we're nothing. Don't worry about it. We're taking the next jump ship to Atacama. Flint out. No, I missed one talk. Okay. Uh, nope. I mean, we miss one dog. Peace, stranger. What brings you to my humble bar? I'm searching for the perfect Aquarian Tsunami Booster. With all the political trouble we're having, maybe you should keep a cool head. A cool head is a paradise for a simple mind. I'm feeling fine, friend. Like a whirling slick. Like a sediment avalanche. I hate politicians, and their disregard for all of us. I see. You know, I think what you need is a drink I call the Zoma Trauma. You won't feel your bones at all, and your brain will feel like it went on vacation without you. Ah, the drink I need. We are going to stay now. And this is the end of this episode because I think we will go to the other Amazon egg. Okay. And that will do an introduction video. And uh, my finger for now. Uh, first, the big dogs. I go from I don't know. We guys. This and I'll get. We need to say and say good night. I got a good fight. And see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. See ya. Bye.